asking for perjury. That first one up there is for us to establish a bullying prevention committee at our school, in which we've done, and you met those members uh, this morning. Actually, last year you knew who they were appointed when we began the training. Um, the committee will uh, have staff trainings, hopefully finishing the end of that today, and um, more will come later as we begin to implement the program. Uh, number three, administer the Obeas Bullying Questionnaire. We did that in the spring for grades three through five. As Cynthia said, we don't have results yet, but that's going to be a very useful tool for us to be able to look for patterns, um, girls versus boys, and so forth, and those hot spots that Pam mentioned where bullying frequently occurs that um, we might need to check into. And the fourth one is Old staff discussion groups. Uh, something else the committee will do is plan meetings for you, just every now and then, uh, to talk about things that you're interested in or need to talk about. Um, like if you need some help with class meetings or you want to talk more about cyberbullying, uh, anything like that, we'll be getting together and just discussing as a group so you can generate some ideas. Uh, number five, which you can't read up there, is the most important thing for you this morning, and that says introduce the school rules against bullying. And I don't know if you remember, Cynthia, we showed them that little poster up there. Um, back in the spring, we showed you uh, the four bullying rules. We're going to get you some kind of copy of this to post in your classroom. Um, and information on going over those four rules. It starts on like page 51 in your teacher guide uh, that you'll get today if you don't already have one. And there'll be more information provided about uh, introducing the rules today. You need to go over these rules in the first weeks of school. Um, you know you already have your Bobcat matrix. You had your Capturing Kids Hearts contracts where the class agrees on acceptable classroom behavior. The bullying rules are not a part of those kind of general expectations. It's totally separate. Um, and that just emphasizes the importance of these rules. We have a system uh, bullying policy as well. The anti-bullying rules on your poster are specifically addressing bullying and it's imperative that we communicate those things uh, very clearly. The first rule, you can't say it any clearly, any clearer, it says we will not bully, period. Um, so uh, make sure you review those the first couple of weeks of school when you are going over other things as well. Other things that the Bully Prevention Committee will do um, we'll look at the school's current supervision, and that comes especially after we get the OBAS questionnaire results back. We can look for those hot spots again where things are occurring frequently. Um, look at how we supervise those areas if changes need to be made. The next one is hold a school kickoff event to launch the program. Now, John is going to introduce the program to parents open house at open house as far as official kickoff for the kids that's something we're still planning as well as involving parents that's to come later too. <coughs> now we're going to take a look at the specific classroom level components and these are the things that we as classroom teachers are responsible for. Um, the first one says, post and enforce school-wide rules against bullying. You're all going to get a copy. It's those four rules that she just went over so that you can post them in your classroom. Um, you can post it close to your rules, close to your matrix, but remember that it is separate. Uh, so 
important. She went over that first one. It's very simple. We will not bully others. Uh, number two says we will try to help students who are bullied. Three is we will try to include students who are left out. And that's something that I think that kids all the time forget about. We forget that sometimes that new kid who's excluded is being bullied in a way. And so we need to, to make sure that we are fostering those relationships with students. Number four is if we know that someone is being bullied, we will tell an adult at school and at home. Um, so that's where that relationship with parents, and we're going to be talking a little bit about how you handle it with parents when if someone comes to you and says, my child is being bullied. How do you make that phone call to parents and say, your kid is exhibiting some bullying behaviors? And that's a hard phone call to have, and it's a hard phone call for those parents to hear. Um, number two says hold regular classroom meetings. You're going to get this great book, and I don't think everybody gets one, but we'll be getting one to share, some to share. But this is class meetings that matter. Some excellent ideas in here. You're going to see how a lot of this will connect with capturing kids' hearts and start building those relationships with students. Um, and these are your meetings. Out of all the information that you're going to this get, this is the best book. This is a great resource. Mm -hmm. This is the best book. Um, and number three is holding those meetings with students' parents and having those difficult discussions, and that's important for us to remember. Mm -hmm. You're going to watch a video. Sorry. <laughs>